Hi everyone, how is it going? I'm your girl Ali from Home Jobs Success with Ali. First time to this channel, thank you so very much for being here. Remember to hit on that like button, the subscription button, and while you're at it, make sure to hit on the notification bell because you do not want to miss anything that I do upload. On this channel, you're able to find YouTube tips, a lot of beauty tips, and also a lot of my crazy. If that interests you any at all, just make sure to go ahead, subscribe, and hit on the notification bell. For all of my loyal fans, thank you so very much for always being here. I do appreciate you. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a detailed tutorial of how you are able to make a thumbnail for your YouTube videos. Now, you would want to stick around for this, especially if you are someone who struggles with doing your thumbnails. But before we get into the video, you know what I've got to do. Guess what? It's Big Up Segments! I want to go ahead and big up Chef Chinny's Kitchen. That's one of my loyal subscribers. Hi, Chinny. All right, so go on over to her channel. It is food inspiration. So when you're out of ideas of what to prepare, just go ahead and just jump on over to her channel and you'll get all the inspiration that you need. But guess what? Remember, it's after you finish watching this tutorial, all right? If you want to be featured on our Big Up segment, go ahead and just follow the instructions in our description area and you could be the next person on our Big Up segment. Cool. So now we're on the same page. Let's get into the video. Now for persons who are struggling to do their thumbnail, it is pretty easy and we do have it right there at our fingertips. There are several ways in which you can create your thumbnail. The three which I'm going to be talking about today is PicSmart for those persons who want to use their cell phone and then I have PicMonkey and Canva. But the one I'm going to be going in detail with today is Canva because that is the one which I use day in day out. In order for you to create a thumbnail, you are going to need an idea or a vision. You would at least need to know what you would want for your thumbnail to look like based on the topic that you are going to be talking about in your video. You are going to be needing a sharp, bright photograph. You can either take it before or after you finish shooting your videos or what I know most people do is during the video, they'll just take a screenshot of a section and then they're able to use that to create their thumbnail. For the size of your thumbnail, it needs to have a resolution of 1280 by 720 and it must have a minimum width of 640 pixels. When you are uploading, bear in mind that you would need to keep them in images and that need to be in jpg gif or png in order for it to fit and make sure you keep within the two megabytes limit now i'm done with the talking so let me just jump into the tutorial because i know that's why you're here okay in order to do a thumbnail you would need to go to the software where you're able to create the thumbnail from the software that I am going to be using, it is called Canva. In Canva, you're able to find any and everything. So you would need to type in what it is that you would need. If you need thumbnail, you type thumbnail. If you need a channel banner, go ahead and type channel banner and you will also get that. Now this that you're looking at, this is basically my Canva account. So you will see all of my thumbnails which I have made here in the past, all right? But that's not what we're going to be doing today. I could easily, well, just click on one of my past thumbnail, make a copy and then create a thumbnail. But because I want to do this from scratch with you, I'm going to go to the home page. And remember, this is the free one. If you want to use the paid version, which is the pro, you can go ahead and do that. Now, for those of you who don't know the size for the thumbnail, as I'd said before, the size should be 1,280 by 720. And that should be with a minimum width of 640. But what I will do here, I will type in the search area because what if 
it was a situation where I do not know the size for the thumbnail. And when you hover over it, just like you're seeing here, it would tell you what size it is, right? And then you would choose the one which you want because they do have for different niches. So you would choose the niche that you want. But just I'm just going to be general today. So I'm just going for a regular thumbnail. Once you do that, you're going to see it pulling up here where you have a blank one. So you're able to go ahead and create yours from scratch. Or if you want to scroll down, you're able to find something that might just fit in for you. So you scroll down until you find a nice, bright, attractive one, which you would want to get. Ah, see, even a get ready with me. All right, so I'm just gonna try to be easy here. I like this one. So I'm going to rock with this one here. So I just clicked on that. Then it's going to pop it up. All right, now that the thumbnail is up, you can basically click on it and everything will happen there for you. You would choose what you would wanna do, what you wanna change. Just like here, if you want to move the this photograph up some more, if you wanna put it over to that side or if you just want to leave it here, you're able to do that with this. All right, so. I'm not going to be touching this much. I'm just going to leave it the way it is because as I said, this is a simple, 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 simple thumbnail tutorial. I'm just going to type here how to make a thumbnail. All right, as you would realize there now, the title is too long. So you can either stretch it out some more or if you want to downsize the, the, the letters, you can do that. Just come up top here and then you're able to change them. Just make sure you highlight here, highlight what is here. Then you just come up to the size here and just choose the size. I love this size and I love everything that's going on for this. So what I'm going to do this here, I'm going to try to get this a little bit bigger. And then when I do that, then I'm going to bring this back over it right here. And that's it. That's it, how to make a thumbnail. Or tell you what guys, if you wanted to add a picture here, say I want to remove this photograph, right? All I would need to do is just to highlight it and then delete and it's gone right and then if you want to insert your own photograph you would just come here click on uploads and then when you click on upload it's going to take you to images which you have already uploaded so these are all the images which i have already uploaded all right let me work with this one here right see this is here so i'll just drag this over and then i'm just gonna position it so it's able to fit in here pull that down a bit carry it down up up a little bit All right, and this is basically it, guys. It takes not even five minutes and we're done. <laughs> That's it and we are done, guys. So the thumbnail is finished and as you can see, it's very bright and catchy, right? Anyone can just go ahead and just click on that right away. Also, if you want to change the color of the font, you can also change the color. You can just highlight that and then you can click up top here. It shows you color for the text and then you can choose the color which you want. What if I want to put it in red? Let me see how it would look with the red. Ah, I think I like this as well. 
If you want it with the red or if you want to keep it at the white, you can do that. Or I have something else that I could share with you guys. I'm just going to remove the background from the same photograph of myself, which I added there. I'm going to see if I can remove the background from that. And then I'm going to try to add that to it as well. I'm going to put the link for the removal of the background below so you're all able to see that. So once you have that up, and this is free, this is free guys. These are all my video ideas, my folder there. So I upload this picture, the same picture. I just uploaded that. All right, so this is the picture guys. So it is now uploaded, right? And then what I'm going to do, cause now you realize the background is all gone. And also, if I wanted to go ahead and remove some more from the background, I just go here to edit. And then where it says here, erase, I'll just click on erase. And then I'll come over here. Say I want to get rid of here and the bag and all of that. I'll just go through neatly to the edges. If you wanted to keep that, guys, you could always just keep that. But for me, I'm just trying something here. This is how we all learn. All right. So as you see here, I'm just taking out the other stuff. And then I'm just going to be leaving me in the picture. And now I am going to go ahead and I'm going to download this picture. Download image. All right. So now I need to go to downloads. Right now, when you go to download, you are going to be seeing it here, which is this one. And then I'm going to cut it and I'm going to save it over here where it's easy for me to find. All right. So this is the photograph without the background. There you go. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm now going to go back and I'm going to click on this area. Remember, we had clicked on upload. And then now, because I need the photograph, which I just did without the background. So I'm going to click on upload an image or video. Then I'm going to choose where I'm going to be downloading it from. So you have to remember where you're saving your info. So as you can see over here, it is downloading. So once it's downloaded, you're going to see it popping up here over your images all right cool so now it's done i'm going to just tap on that once and now here we are so i'm going to delete the first picture which i had placed there and now i'm going to be putting this one there aha uh -huh. but now as you see this does not have any background or anything just making sure that i Try to fit it in properly. That's it. You have yourself a thumbnail right there. Pretty easy, right? There are other things which you're able to add to it. You just click on elements. And then once you click on that, if you want to add any little style to it or anything at all, any little images, you can always do that as well. All right, what I'm going to do, let me just try this right here. I'm going to see if I can search over here for YouTube. All right, I think I can use this one. All right, so put that there. I think I like this. Hold on. What I'm going to do, guys, because I want to keep that exact thing going on under there, I'm going to change that to white. I don't know how this is going to look. As I tell you, you can always just play around with this until you get exactly what you want. This should be it now, guys. Yes. I'm going to leave this just as is, right? So it's how to make a YouTube thumbnail. Perfect. All right. So now that I've got this out of the way, I'm now going to go ahead and click on download. One of the things you need is to make sure that you download your images in J. PG or GIF or PNG. 
and you have to make sure that you remain under two megabytes limit all right do not go over that so as you see here they would have already suggested the png but if you click in the drop down area here you will see the other that i had made mention of but i'm going to stick to the png and i'm just going to click on download now it usually prompts you if you want to upgrade to the pro you can i do get a lot of stuff in the free version so i will stick to the free version there once i have downloaded that i'm now going to go back over to my downloads area and then i'm going to be seeing what i just downloaded and i'm going to cut it put it over my videos paste it here and i'm going to be changing the name so i can find it easy and there you go that's your thumbnail nice and big and clean all right so that's basically it i hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial it is very basic and simple if you do not understand it further you can just go ahead and let me know also all the tools that i use to create this i'm going to be leaving them in the description area so you're able to check them out for yourself all right i'm your girl ali from home job success with ali saying peace take care and i'll see you in my next video what good bye